Hello, this is Tobin Gordeski Hooper, um, and I'm one of the Wildwoods interns, and I'm going to show you how to separate out fungal spores from forest soil to make a, um, a more concentrated mycorrhizal inoculant. Um, there's a lot of beneficial fungi that form mutualistic partnerships with plants. They um, trade minerals um, from the soil and um, in exchange for sugars from the plants, and form an actual like extended root system, you could say, for the plants. Um, you, and what you can do is just um, take some soil from, from like a healthy ecosystem and add it to a place where it might de be depleted, like in a place where fungicides were applied in the past, or a place where, uh, or in just house plants, or places where the soil has been tilled a lot, which can disturb them. Um, but you can also separate it out, which um, makes it a little easier to use because it's more concentrated and it's better for if you ever want to experiment with the effects of it because you know exactly what you're adding in rather than because soil can have a lot of other microorganisms. Also, um, you can also see it through a microscope this way because it's separated and will end up in a solution of mostly just water. Um, so yeah, anyways, here's how you do it. This is um, use a modified version of the flotation adhesion technique. Basically, it's the exact same principle, but I just um, changed exactly how it was done to be more simple and easier to do at home. But like I said, the princ same principle will still apply. All you'll need is cold water, not hot water, because that could possibly kill the spores, an empty container that's not made of glass, a container that is made of glass, some forest soil, and you'll want to gather, or, or garden soil, you'll want to gather this from a place that is healthy, um, where pesticides and herbicides, all that stuff hasn't been applied um, in the past. So that could be from the woods, from a garden that you've cultivated for a long time. You can also, like, look for um, plants similar to what you're trying to cultivate and gather soil from there because the same partnerships that work for that plant elsewhere would hopefully work for yours. And you will also need a stir stick and a um, spoon would be helpful too to scrape the inoculant out of the containers um, once you um, form it because it will stick to the glass. That's one of the, um, that's one of the, that's the adhesion part of the technique. Well, the first step is add soil to the empty um, non-glass container. It can be any container, of course. Um, I'm just using an old yogurt container made out of plastic. Add the water. Fill Make sure there's a lot more water compared to the amount of soil you use. But you can, of course, always scale it up or do it multiple times if you want more. Ideally, I would have, um, uh, ideally I would have um, separated out some bits of wood and debris from the soil, maybe even put it through a sieve, but I didn't do that. So there will be some weird stuff floating in here. So I'm going to stir and emulsify the soil. The first part of the flotation adhesion technique is the flotation. And so basically, the um, spores will float when submerged in water. But first, I gotta like break up all the dirt clumps and stir it all around so they're in contact with water and can float to the surface. That does take about two minutes, so I will cut back when or t I um, when two minutes have passed, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so it's been more than two minutes since this thing has been sitting, and so now the um, spores have floated to the top along with, unfortunately. Some bits of random things, but that's all right. So what we're going to do is carefully pour the off the top of uh, the um, liquid into the glass container. I used a mason jar, so any glass container or something similar would work. Just the top. And so now the, for the adhesion part of the um, technique, the um, spores will adhere to glass. And so I'm going to sort of turn the, uh, try to get as much contact with the, um, 
the uh, spores to the glass by blowing it around. And you can just use this as inoculant, relatively concentrated, um, because it should, the spores should have flowed to the surface. But I'm trying to get a little more concentrated product, mostly just so I can show you um, what the spores look like through a microscope. So, which will be coming up shortly. So, going around. Sometimes this is more successful than others. I didn't choose the best soil, so I might have to redo the experiment, but the principle still applies. And now, I'm going to carefully pour off the top, trying to disturb as little of the spores along the edges as possible. Just pour it off. You can save it and try it again. Pour into another glass container and do the same technique because stuff on the top here still probably has a fair amount of spores in it. But I'm not going to do that just to keep things simple. So I got most of that out. And now what I can do is just leave it here. And if I want to use it or scrape it into an art container, like let's say this old uh, container that um, had the soil in it originally, what I can do is scrape the um, scrape this um, stuff on the sides which should have adhered to the container and to here. You can also add a little more water and swish it around, scrape it in. You can also use a stick if you don't want to use like an actual kitchen spoon, but I'm going to use a kitchen spoon. And I'll cut back to when it's all separated out and I've strained out all the bits of um, wood and debris and I'll show you what it looks like through a microscope. So my previous attempt to uh, separate the spores um, ended up in uh, the, the solution was too murky to really use a microscope on. So I tried again using um, soil with um, less bits of debris that I had success in the past finding uh, spores. And so I did the whole process again. I, um, it's now, um, should be floating on the top. And now I'm just going to get this white stuff, which is always a good sign, because don't quote me on it, but um, this looks like to possibly spores. So we're going to pour it off. Or so also some bubbles and stuff. And Try not to get too much of the debris. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's a little more than more liquid than I would have liked, but it's okay, we can work with that. You can see the bubbles and hopefully uh, spores are sticking on the sides there. Um, excuse the background noise. And so now I'm gonna pour it off. The stuff that poured off is still probably valuable inoculant, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it on some plants. And I hopefully will get some cool photos of the uh, of the spores that I found here. So now I'm gonna just add a little more water, wash it out, and put a microscope in the solution and a oh, little handheld microscope at the water, and we'll hopefully I'll get some cool photos to show you guys.